basically a division that helps with discrimination and wrongful, you know, behaviors in the county for people who need the state to look into it. So the discrimination lawyer, well, his assistant contacted me and we were talking about the situation. So the lawyer would be contacting me back with more, you know, when he forwarded him all the details. But um, I've been on beast mode. I, you know, once I start gunning, I'm gunning. So I had um, refaxed it this morning because I had forgotten my cover letter. And then I sent out five certified mails, well, four yesterday. I hit all those departments I told you, which is the legal department, education department, um, uh, uh, Victoria Cush and her deputy. And one more was um, the discrimination and policies department. So they should be receiving that, that lawyer know that I'm already making moves without him having to do nothing. So most likely, hopefully they come in hot. You know what I'm saying? Because there's still people who lukewarm about it, just gonna leave it like that. So uh, it's still for us to, for somebody to, you know, I think a lot of people feel a way about this anyway. So I ain't even wanna say that. Right. You know what it is. They just afraid. So that was good news. Cause they, I just got off the phone with them probably like a half an hour ago. So we, we see, yeah, we see how that work out. You know, on it like kryptonite. So other than that, how was how was your weekend? It's good. Chill. Anything? Yeah, it was chill. Night. Okay. All right. So you remember what we was talking about? What you want to do? What do you want the next topic to be about? Is it gonna be about your story or you wanna pick a hot topic? I'm feeling I'm uh, oh you know, I feel some type of way right now about how this whole shit going out there with this police thing as far as like the way people move in the uproar status, like I feel like like, I'm watching them five black officers, like, I watched a video of them beating old boy, I'm like, man, well, like, but I'm, I'm looking at it like, that shit is, like, really, like, I'm used to seeing five black men beat on another black man like that, and it's fucked up, like. Mm. Mm. We just did a live like, last night talking about that. That looked like the jump out boy. They looked like the jump out boys. That's what they were. They, they just they, all got to just, you know, every city, every, every, every in the black city in this country got their own form of jump out boys. And it's, it's, it's shit like that, though. Because, you know, in North, they don't do that shit no more. Nah, they didn't do because, you know, the community started getting on their ass because they were beating yeah, niggas' but, ass and just leaving them. Leaving them on the street. Yeah, like. And, and before I got locked, like the whole time I was home, I never knew they was un they was under investigation by the feds. Who knew? So they had cop uh the jump out boys, seven boys, mm. and BON. Mm. I never knew that. So when I was home all that time, and I took yo, they used to be doing weird shit like we'd be on the block, they'll pull up with the drugs at, like and we uh, we know it's a drug block with the drugs at. They won't find no drugs. They're like, I'm letting you know right now. If it wasn't for these cameras right here, I'd have had a I'd have had something nice for you. I'd have took all y'all up. They used to be saying shit like that. So when I was in the county and this shit came out on the news, they were showing the video. Uh, 10 BON officers, three, uh, 10 BON officers, and three homicide detectives, all court fair cases, falsifying evidence, planting evidence, and, uh, 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 coerce, uh, coercion. coercing people in the, uh, uh, in the giving statements and shit like that. All, 13 of them all went to the feds. They were showing the video. It's like they had FBI agents undercover in their units and discovered all that shit. They, was, they showed videos of them. Like, the dude searched the trunk. He like, yo, ain't nothing in the trunk. So the other cop went. He came back up like, bro, how you miss this? Like, mm -hmm. mind you, the nigga got a camera in his belt. The trunk was empty. So he pulled out a big ass bag of hella crack valves. Like, how you miss this? This was in the trunk. He like, I didn't see that when it was in the trunk. He like, man, that was in the trunk. There was no video that wasn't in the trunk. I'm like, oh, he just planted that shit all in it. Then they showed another video of a cop pulling, pulling dope out his pocket, uh, his cargo pants. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, put this in the front seat. 
because what you're saying is exactly what I was saying last night in my video the video that I did on this got re rated a uh, kids restriction because I was talking about this I said yo they look like the jump out boys they don't have no restriction they get out guns drawn I remember like when um uh, I came up there a couple of years ago they jumped out on me and the kids in that in the black the black uh car I had with the tinted windows I had to roll all my windows down and then you know like yo what's up like you see me I'm a female with a kids and he like oh I apologize and jump right in their shit they had me block off and everything right there on 18th and, 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 South, and that's what happened to him they boxed him in and that's what I'm saying like he like the way he looked he looked like he ain't even he green basically what they call green out here he not in the street so if you see an unmarked car following you trying to tell you pull over you he get a little nervous so i'm glad you said it because that's exactly what i was saying i used to see in Newark and y'all used to experience that hell yeah yeah before before uh when you was a little bit younger it happened in east orange too where the feds was uh investigating the east orange police station for the same thing this is the new update though as we know they always try to hide the others but when you look at the body cam everybody can ask him like who the hell is this white hand saying they should have said thank you they got another officer and he white and they was not going to prosecute him or do anything until they started protest testing they just now just fired him at like an hour ago mm -hmm. mm. So on top of what we have to go through amongst each other, doing it to each other, they still be getting away. They was not, how are they gonna show this man body cam with his arm in it and then think that we so stupid we ain't gonna see it? Right, 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 100%. Nah, you you have any other stories where you've seen them jump out on people in Newark? Cause Hell yeah, they used to take us for rides. What, what's the rise about? Oh my god, they kind of find like you out late night and they catch you. They ain't find nothing on you, like, oh, they ain't got nothing on you, like, oh, what you doing out here? Don't let them know you, like, you gangbanging and all that. They know you. Oh, oh so you clean, huh? You ain't got nothing on you. They'll take you and throw you in the car. You'll they, they, be in the back of a cop car while they jumping out on other niggas. And they'll be snatching certain people, throwing them in the car. Like, they know I'm from up top. I'm from the Hooterville. Mm -hmm. they, they took me and, and uh, two other niggas I was with. They snatched us. They drove us all the way to higher court. Pulled up in higher court in the parking lot, jumped out, and started screaming, yo, we got a bunch of bloods in the car. Wow. Opened the door and threw us out the car. Like, here they go right here. And they all got, all the cops got back in their car and pulled off and left us down there. Fuck. Like 12 at night. They used to be doing shit like that. Yo. I, we watched them. They used to do that to them down there and dump them off up there on us. But Which I know better. That's why, and they yeah, don't know that we know each other. Like, even though the gang be doing their thing, they think that they can play y'all against each other so much. I'm glad you just told that story because it's real, and they don't realize how corrupt this. So that 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 tells me, and they just dismantled it. For for more, it's yeah, more corruption behind it. You know, it's not just this one. Yeah, hell yeah. It's crazy because now that now that B O N train done up, it's it's uh. Uh, now we're straight FIFA squad unit, but that it was run by the prosecutor office. So now it's state, Newark, it's state, Newark, narcotics officers and FBI agents in one train. Mm. Everybody catching federal cases out there. With exactly, and they're gonna make sure that it <laughs> stick because you got the prosecutors that's training the police to move a certain way, and once they get into these task force units, they coming down. So peep this. You remember, I, we, I don't know if I mentioned to you all, like a lot of gun char, gun um, laws changed across the United States. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, so um, guess what came to follow? So in Georgia, you what? could be 18 and have any gun you want to, but now they have a 10 year minimum for anyone who's caught doing a crime or a, a attempt to do a crime with a gun and it don't have to be discharged. 10 years minimum. Damn. Yo, that's worse than what they did to y'all. You know they about to screw all these country niggas up, right? What? You hear, listen, they said even if the, the gun wasn't discharged. So I had gave an example yesterday. I said, so what if 
you and your peoples, y'all y'all have a fight with uh, two other girls or two other dudes, and you get the best of them. Then them dudes like you know call the cops and stuff, and they arrest you for assault, which is uh, a felony out here. But then they run in a car that you was driving that had nothing to do with the fight, and you got a gun in it. How do you think they're gonna approach that? Oh my goodness! You see yeah, what's happening? They're gonna send them straight to the moon. Yo. Hey, yo, you know the funny part is, right? Because I was explaining this to somebody. I'm like, yo, like, I said, like, um, people be, like, pushing for gun reform. And I said, yo, all these gun reforms they be pushing, I said, nobody be peeping at, I, oh, we need more gun reforms for this mass shooter, which was a white man. Mass shooter went into Walmart, killed a bunch of people. Da -da -da -da. I, he was a legally, he, he, he was on papers. Legally owned the weapon, legally bought it, Thank got you. papers for it, it's in this name. Boom. I said, but don't nothing happen to the, uh, all of the all of legislation they push it only go down to crimes with weapons as far as illegally happening. I say, yo, most black motherfuckers don't even think about trying to go get a carrier's permit or shit like that. Like, Cause I they, say, yo, so by the time you woke up, y'all done up. Thank you. Especially depending on the state and the rigor and roll. Like, with Jersey, you already know, like, but his ass that even worked with them have a hard time getting his personal gun license. Like, he had to go through so many motherfucking paperwork and change the command to get a personal gun license now that he retired. We ain't gonna say no names. That's, that, that's so crazy. You see what I'm saying? But then we have a high rate of crime in New York. And that's why I was like, yo, it's because we can't protect ourselves. Like, it is what right. it is. The, the hood niggas know. Like, if you go around somebody, they might, they definitely ain't got a gun. Unless they be your, uh. Right. So, it's kind of two way street to that, but then they coming up. It, to, it, it is. They, they scooping us up. They coming to scoop the black men up. I thought the five years with an 85 in Jersey was a lot. This is 10 years that, that minimum. Five, wait, it, was five, it was five with a 40. It ain't even five with a 42 no more, though. It's 85. They, they stop doing that. Nah, nah, it ain't 85 for her. It's only uh, 85 for the, uh, well, yeah, violence for anything violence. Yeah, baby. It's, it's a blanket. It's a black. I remember that. 85%. Yeah, I'm so waiting. now, wait, these. They, they, they talk about, they talk about, they keep talking about this 65% shit supposed to go up the legislation this year. So, we'll see. They've been working on this shit since 2018. But they ain't talking about no rehabilitation programs, not putting real programs in yeah. it. That's what I'm talking about. They build more jails. They got, it's crazy. It's not. What's fucking with they've been, yo, they closed down. How many? And it's crazy because we have 60 seconds remaining. They closed down all these prisons, but ain't nothing happening because they closed down Southern State. They closed down Morgantown. They closed down Annadale. And supposedly they're supposed to close down Broadway. Mind wow. you, there's not that many prisons in New Jersey. To have all these, them. like, Broadway. Yeah, so what y'all gonna be doing with all these people? Well, like, what are they doing with all these prison look, buildings? Like, I mean, Northern, Northern look big. This shit not big at all. Like, far as unit-wise, when inmates have this shit, is not big. We have 30 seconds remaining. They were trying to open another one in Newark, and Mommy and them stopped that shit. I was just going to say, the people stopped. They're trying to build another good, another one in there. But this is what's up, because I'm at, we're going to pick this up, because this is what we were talking about last night. Same exact shit. You just solidify exactly what I was saying. I was like, yo, this is how the jump out boys work. It was crazy because I was thinking about this because something similar like this was going on in Chicago too, where you were saying how they pick up people and drop them off places. But it was getting a little bit sinister in Chicago, allegedly. Like they were finding dudes like hanging in warehouses. And as you say, they'll force somebody to give a statement based on you know somebody else give an example of that because is it there I, i'm not gonna say it's not snitching but it'd be some situations that they do to people and it'd be like life or death you know what i mean yo those? and police be, one thing i'm gonna get these cops they know how to find a way to catch you out of pocket and especially if they know i he from this block been trying to catch this dude because we know he supplied these dudes or this dude because we heard that he killed two people but we can't prove it. So when they start looking around, you yo, motherfuckers don't even be knowing that police be sitting on their blocks. Motherfuckers don't even be knowing that 
for a year straight. Every morning, it's a cop sitting out there just watching y'all, like, Ooh. watching y'all move this dude, you know, and like, running your name, like, you've been to jail. See, this is the thing about going to jail, because once they put your name in that system, now they know your child name, they know who your, 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 your mother, your, your, your siblings, who your child mother is, everything. So now we go down to, all right, I'm going to look at them. Mm. Boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I caught his sister. Oh, his sister got a case. Grabbed him up. Hey, yo, look, we'll help you out. Like, we you just sit out that gym. I see, I see niggas do that. Like, get caught up. Ah. Know they people was caught up for some crazy shit and want to help them out when you do that. And then, catch a nigga and threaten them. Like, yo, bro, we gonna take your kids away. Like, they start lying to you, bro. We gonna take your kids away from you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get Dyfus involved with your baby mother. We know she do this, she do that. I feel you. Let me tell you a story that you may not have heard before. You almost got arrested going to child support for one of the kids. Yo, peep this. Yeah, yeah. I was up in Newark and I went to get child support, you know. And I'm in there, it's taking massive long, I mean five hours. I'm like, yo, what takes so long for them to call me back here? You know, I'm in nursing school. I'm not in nursing school, but I'm in college, you know, working. Things a little different from when I was running around with my baby daddy, you know what you want. So I'm like, all right, I get back there. And all of a sudden, these two officers walk up to me and was like, ma'am, you're under arrest. I was like, excuse me, what, what, what the hell? Wait, what do you mean? You're under arrest, and then he like to me. I see he's like, we'll explain it to you later. Took me upstairs, showed me that basically it was an investigation going on with baby daddy number one, you, right. I, I yes, and they did an investigation like you said. They'll be on your block and you don't even know. So when I was pregnant, I was running the streets with him. I'm gonna keep it real. I was running the streets. I was working. I was whatever he wanted me to do. I was being fucking stupid. Okay, and I ain't gonna say I had my hands on all that stuff, but I definitely was driving around. Okay, so they was like, they let me read the investigation, and basically I was, I don't know how they put it to a warrant for me though. This is how crooked they are. This shit is a little story. So boom, I'm like the investigation. Yeah, young black woman walking out pregnant. They they describe me to a T. Many different days describing the interactions was going on in the building. I'm like, when the fuck was they watching all of this? So, you know, I ain't doing no none of those type of hands things. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So they never have nothing on me. So one day, I yes, my baby daddy had the car that I had in my name. It's his car. So he on the block in front of that same place that they investigate in and they run down on him. I wasn't there. I was at work. So I end up having to call him right in the middle of this shit like I always do. Somebody picking up his phone, hanging it up, picking it up. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Then the dude was like, I got your baby daddy. I said, excuse me? Like, oh shit, what is going on? I said, excuse me? Yeah, I got your car and I got your baby daddy. I was like, listen, that's my car. I don't know what you're talking about from the rip. I started saying, I don't know what you're talking about. That's just my car. Like, I'm not... I don't know what you're talking about. He like, yes, you do. Wherever your baby daddy is, wherever that dude that, that was in this car, you you tell him to come or we're going to keep your car. I was like, what? I said, oh, nah. First and foremost, I'm pregnant. I just let him lease that car from me because I need money. So while I'm at work and I'm going to school, he get the car. He paid me $500. That's all I know about him. I don't know where he lives. I don't know none of that. Oh, yes, you do. Da, da, da. So they tracking us, but they was not tracking us. That's good because I know me and him still have a communication. I'm talking to him. So I'm like, yo, this is a situation. He in high. I'm like, what the f- is going on? I'm on the phone with these back and forth for two days. Can't find a car in the system. It's not in the pound because I'm ready to pick it up. Nowhere in the system. None of this stuff went down. I made a report with a turn of affairs. Like, yo, my car is going. I don't know what's going on. Somebody said that they had my car and I had to exchange it for this man that I don't know where he's at. And all of a sudden, my car in the pound. They had to put the car in the pound that, that day I reported it to the turn of affairs. They were mad at me, Romy. So boom, they like, oh, when I got down to get the car, 
everything was ripped to shreds. The, the seats was pulled out. The backs was pulled out. They ripped it. They couldn't find nothing in it but the money that was in the glove compartment. And they felt some weight because I was arrogant enough to be like, yo, it was $1,500 in that glove department. That's my money. You supposed to give me my money. That ain't nothing. It was no drugs, no nothing. They was mad at me, bro. So, boom. She, she went down with IS. He got, he never really got cased up while we was together. Make a long story short, these cops must have put a warrant on me. They must have put a warrant on me. And basically when I went to go do my child support, they came and they ran down on me.